today I'm going to be talking about adding watermarks to your video clips. Now I don't usually add watermarks to my clips, but it's good to know how to do one. And a watermark is just like this little image right here that you see in this clip at the in the bottom corner and usually like networks they'll have their logo or station name here in one of these corners and you know it's just a little logo and it doesn't obstruct the actual picture that much and sometimes they last the entire time through the video and sometimes they they just come on and go off after a few seconds or minutes now the easiest way I found to add uh, watermark to my videos on uh, using uh, in Linux under Caden Live is to actually make a watermark image so I don't even have to manipulate what a watermark is going to go inside the video editor I just import that image and the watermark is wherever it is in that image so the first thing I do is I have GIMP open so I'm going to create a new project and I usually make the watermark image the same size as whatever video I'm shooting so usually I shoot video in 720p which is um, a width of 1280 pixels by um, 720 pixels in height so I have that set here already and then I usually fill it with transparency because I don't want only thing I want to see is that watermark or logo image so I'm gonna go ahead and create that okay now I've already created the image the logo previously so I'm just going to open that as a layer in this project okay and let's see where that's at okay here it is and you can see the logo is fairly large, so I want to scale that down a bit. So I just click on the scale tool. I'm going to scale it down rather small. That's good. Click scale. Okay, now I'm going to take the move tool and just move that over to the far corner over here, the image. And it stands out a little too much for me, so I'm going to change the opacity of it to like 75.8%. Click enter. And you see it's not as bold and, you know, it doesn't stick out as much. So now I'm going to save that because that's really all I need to do. Okay. Save that project. Okay, now that I've got it saved, I'm going to export it. Uh, to PNG because I want to keep the transparency. Okay, and the default export settings for PNG are fine. I just keep those and go ahead and export it. Now I can get GIMP out the way because that's all I really need it for. Now what I'm going to do is import the media into Caden Lab that I need to manipulate. Okay, first thing I'm going to import is the actual video. And the next thing I'm going to import is the watermark clip. So let me navigate to that directory and import that PNG. Okay. Make this a little bigger. Okay, now I'm going to drag both of these to the timeline. So the easiest way I uh, found to do it was to put the trans the um, watermark image in the first video slide especially if you want it to you know be shown on all the clips below it and to put um, the video clips that you want the watermark to appear on below it and I'm gonna stretch this out and you can use these controls down here to zoom in and out or you can use the uh, Control plus and minus keys to zoom in and out. I just use the menu usually because sometimes I've, it's been known to crash on me using these controls down here. So I just play it safe usually and use the menu keys or the shortcut keys. 
Okay, now I'm going to click on the watermark image and I'm going to extend it to, to the duration of the video clip. And now what I'm going to do is right click on that watermark image and I'm going to add a transition. And the transition that I'm going to add is composite. Now the composite clip, the composite transition is right here, but it's so small that you can't see it. So what I'm going to have to do, it, do is zoom in three or four times. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clips. Okay, now I'm going to click on that composite transition and I'm going to drag it out so that it's longer. And then I'm going to zoom out so that it's easier to manipulate again again three or four times reversing the zoom in that I just perform okay so now I'm going to stretch that composite clip all the way over so now when I press play I'm gonna go to play yeah there it is you see the logo image or the watermark image is now embedded in the video and it'll go the duration of this transition which is the happens to be the duration of the video now what you can do is now the last thing you need to do is render it you can render it in any of these formats I usually use the H.264 with a video bit rate of 6000 audio 192 that's still probably overkill and again you can choose the number of encoder threads you need depending on if you have a multiprocessor or not and you can just render the file now that's going to take a few minutes so I'm not going to render it now I've already done that and this is actually a video that I showed that I showed in the beginning and you can see that the watermark is in the video okay now some other things you can do with watermarks are um, one of the things is that in the previous project I had the watermark stretching the entire duration of the film but you can also just have it part you know going part of the video and just starting like not at the beginning so like here I have it near the beginning it play it, you know it runs its course then it disappears and then I have it again here let me see if it'll play and you see it appears and then after it's gone this amount of time then it'll disappear now you can use this watermark technique for other things so because this watermark is basically just an overlay so you could I could put my name right here and have that appear at the beginning and then disappear so instead of a logo with KLWJ here it could be with my name and some other type of graphics here and that could disappear and then after that disappears this my um, channel logo could appear shortly after that so there's a lot of things you can do with these overlays and they're just good to know how to use from time to time